keep it too real for real and that's what that's what made me rich that's what made me rich hustling that's what made me rich from a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002 there's a look at the home of the patriots gillette stadium in foxborough mass Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New England Patriots. season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. They had no run back on this one so the new season will begin at the 25 yard line. They'll start out here with the option left. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Throwing his hurts. And that's out to the flag for Swift. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. I know some guys that love to start the year off with a deep shot downfield, trying to begin things with a home run ball. That might be the more exciting option, but I think that this was the smarter play. Now a man picked up on draft night this year, DeAndre Swift. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Hey, 73, 73. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Eagles. 
Dallas Goddard, 32 yards. And the Eagles are on the board here first in the season opener. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. Start by run of the option to the right. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Well, this is uh, really an interesting matchup here in week one. Of course, you got the Super Bowl 52 rematch to talk about. No Nick Foles or Tom Brady on the field today. But for the Eagles, it's been a long wait to get back at it again since the loss to the Chiefs back in February. And no Zach Ertz. Was it a touchdown? Was it not a touchdown? In New England, they're still upset over that call. But hey. This game is going to be a blast because the Eagles, they didn't feel like they put enough pressure on the quarterback in the Super Bowl. They want to really get after it with this one. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. A gain of a yard on the play brings up third and four. Here is third down and four. Willis from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Bryce Barringer now. That's taken on the 25. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. So we've got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But, but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he will go out of bounds down at the 15-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Now look at that. I'd say somebody's already in mid-season form here in game number one. Doesn't need a whole lot of carries in the preseason, does he? He needs to get the ball when it counts. And when it does, he makes it count. But first down, Hurts. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me too. For, for you. I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> On second down, Swift. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. Oh, 
Here now, third and a yard. From the gun, it's Hurts. Touchdown! Devontae Smith, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. To throw, here's Willis. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receipt. one he wishes he had back he wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes what 9.9 .9 times out of 10 just missed that one so the incomplete pass on the last play and that leads us to a third and three Now Willis on third down. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That's good for 28 yards. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Now Willis on first and ten. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, Fletcher Cox, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and another sack to his ledger there. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of the momentum from the offense coming off that big completion to prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. Here we go. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Willis. And he slings one that's incomplete. The well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Yeah. 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Willis, third and long. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. Well, don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. Ready. Willis on the sneak. Oh, the defense right there to stop him. Did he get the yard he needed? He did, says the referee. Barely. First down. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here. First and ten. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Jordan Davis, just a monster on that play, stopping it from going anywhere. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Third down, it's Willis. And that is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little. Maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to try to bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done. the line this Philly offense set to go and thus far the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit they've looked good so far in the first half they certainly have and think back to our meeting with the head coach and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game didn't we we said hey have you prepared for this and he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions the wet ball drills things of that nature he said I don't think it's gonna slow us down much we tend to handle it pretty well and he's been right so the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line scrimmage. They need 12 here. It's third down. to throw into a double team and it's intercepted it's Kyler Duggar who picks it and he's able to get it back to right around the 27 
And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown okay. is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. On second down, Elliott. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. They keep on the ground with Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So he looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Ready, ready. After the incompletion, here now, third Broncos and switch. two. Switch. Ready. They'll try and run for... And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll... And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Rookie fourth round pick Chad Ryland for the Patriot field goal. This is a 26 yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And the second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. It's caught, Smith. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. 
But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Ten more there and another first down. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. On first and ten, it's game well. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The good signal calls will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions. And it was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. at the line ready to go and this not an easy situation you're down early in the elements you're on the road how do you get the mojo back well one thing is to remember that as an offensive player you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender so in this case because you know it you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness maybe a second fake some double moves things of that nature to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense Second down, here's Willis. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And yeah, he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Meanwhile, Willis is throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Again, Willis to throw. Got a man, it's Tyquan Thornton. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again on second and 10, it's Willis. And he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Willis is going to throw once more. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Misdirection's the key on this play. They line up with three receivers to the opposite side of the tight end, and they're all going to work their way across the field and let the tight end slip underneath against blow the other way. They're banking that he can get lost, and that's exactly what happened as they pick up a first down. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Okay, ready? So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now from the gun, here's Willis. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Let's go now. Nice play from Smith-Schuster to get the first down, and he rejuvenated his career in a one-year stop with Kansas City last season. And the Patriots aggressively targeted him in free agency, hoping to jumpstart their offense. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Second down. Here's Willis. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. On the go. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Willis looking to throw it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. the line this Philly offense set to go and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot off the play fake here's Hurts complete Smith has it and some room to work and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, 
he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone right, 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 open right. downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? They're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's Willis. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. 18 rattler, 18 rattler. Ready, ready. On third down, it's Willis. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for New England. 52 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zoom past that number there. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defense coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. Willis now off of play action. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. Come on, so come after on. the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Play fake. Here's Willis. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And yeah, he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. First and 10 at the 11 yard line. Hawk 70, Hawk. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. To throw, here's Willis. This will be caught at about the five. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. 
Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Third and two, Willis. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Malik Willis. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Patriots have cut the lead back down to two. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. The quarterback will keep it himself. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. And the option play working flawlessly right there. What do you think of the call? Love the call. That's really football 101 to me. Two-point conversion, run quarterback option. That means he can either keep it himself or pitch it to a trailing back. That usually opens things up for an offense. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 78 yards on the ground here for Swift. And he's got a first down as well. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. From the gun, here's a run by Gainwell. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. From the gun, it's Hurts. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And in the second half of a tie game, every decision gets magnified. And here, if he forces this ball, it could be intercepted. So that's the prudent play to just airmail it out of bounds. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. 
Hurt sets up to throw it. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll look to set up his blockers. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And they will take over first and 10. at the line ready to go good drive last time really effective passing the football do you maybe mix it up now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit I would end. it's caught inside the 25 touchdown Patriots tight run Fulton 63 yards and the Patriots have scored again in this third quarter this time to move out in front Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. the line this Philly offense set to go defense got the better of them last series forcing a punt see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive first and ten but first down hurts and he overshot him there it's out of bounds incomplete you know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. They have maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And from the 25, they move this to the 29, a gain of four. Things you're looking for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's Hurts to throw. the punt team sending this one away. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10.
On first down, Willis. Going deep here for Parker. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown! Devontae Parker, 49 yards. And the Patriots get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out when they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. 91 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hurts. Flip Hurts fumbles it. And it's picked up by the Patriots. So they've got the football and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. He tried to buy some time to the right. So Charles, when a guy gets out of the pocket, what's the focus of the quarterback? Most of them keep their eyes downfield. They want to try and make a play throwing the ball. And some of them, they want to tuck it and go. But when they scramble, in this case, as you said, to the right, you're cutting the field in half. So good defenses kind of can converge in that spot, and they don't give you much territory to throw the ball. He had nowhere to go with it. Ends up getting the ball stripped. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Second down, Willis looks to throw here. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Nolan Smith, that is one that he will remember. His first career sack in his first career game in the National Football League. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Here's Willis, third and long. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today. But on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This to make it a three-score game late. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. A oh, good-looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here's a second and five. Silver, silver, silver. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now he's going to swing this one on to his running back. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. And this is a situation where, as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. That one good for 24 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20 yard line. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Back to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Here's Swift. Stops short. Down at the one. Had the broken tackle, but couldn't get it all the way home. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth, it doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. A 
Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From his end zone, Willis. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's going to get this up to the 24-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, normally you might say start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. And all the way down. 67 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. He had been held in check. Now he breaks that big run. Shows the explosiveness we all knew was there. All right, tell the truth now. You knew it was just a matter of time, didn't you? Tell We've you. seen this so many times from him. Hold him down, hold him down, and then breaks out. So the Patriots with a football as we get your reset. Come on, come on. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Here's Stevenson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Elliott. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Willis on the sneak. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. Well, that play seemed well scouted defensively. They collapsed everything inside. Nowhere to go on the quarterback sneak. Now he's going to bring up fourth down. The offense is going to stay hey, out there. Street, street. We'll see what the play call is. They need to find the right one here on fourth and goal. And I don't think he got in. He did it. He stoned at the one-yard line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Fielded just inside the 30. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. Okay, good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he slips up past the 35 before being tackled. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be... It's like... I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough. Buffing my nails, dog, I'm trying to get buff. Shaping my beard up, I'm liking the scruff. The hills, because I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm going to...